You're listening to the January 17th, 2021 reading of Blossom Good Child's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello, my friends. Okay, so monoliths equals 171. Huge announcement equals zero. Yet there is so much going on behind the scenes right now. I'm wondering if this is all about to change. What's your perspective on the state of affairs on our planet right now? If you would be so kind to share. Welcome to all. Welcome to a time that is to be pivotal in this entire operation of dismantling the dark and watching the sunrise on your planet as it comes into the light. Dearest souls, your patience on this matter has been pushed and stretched to its extremities. You have been taken to limits within yourselves whereupon you felt you could not take any more. Yet there was nothing to be done. Now, dearest souls, now, watch as the new dawn arises. Watch as your swords of light are recharged with knowing and understanding. You know why you are here, and you have been awake and alert to this knowing, and yet felt for so long that you, as your light soul being, had been kept in the dark and all that you know yourself to be has been lain dormant. Times of despair, when one felt like giving up, have weighed your light being down, sometimes into the depths of depression. Yet you are here now. You are ready to go. You are ready to fall into line as your strength is renewed with hope. The time is upon you when all that you have been waiting for is to be revealed. No longer shall you walk in the shadows of darkness, dearest friends, as your planet has done for so long. We rejoice in the knowing of the goodness that you shall be able to feel. We put it quite simply that you shall be able to breathe again. Although you felt you are already doing so, you will know what we mean as this feeling is discovered. You are walking into the days that we have spoken of. There shall be a huge announcement. It is imminent. We are aware of the waiting. Yet now we confirm. That's very bold. These are bold times, Blossom. You are ready for what is to come. You are ready to console and comfort those who are overwhelmed with news of what is and what has been. For a time, everything shall be so topsy-turvy, and it shall continue to be so. There shall be rioting and upheaval everywhere. For that which is about to be revealed will shock and abhor. All this that we are saying is of a repeated nature, as you are aware. And yet we say to you now that this is the time you will say, this is what the Federation of Light spoke of. And we know this will give you comfort and strength. Hold the light. Be conscious of this at all times. Repeat as often as you think to do so. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. Know the effect this will have, not only on your being, Yet, the effect it shall have on those who know nothing of what is happening. There will be such confusion on a scale unimaginable. Be the light. Talk to the light. Ask for strength and it shall be given to you. Remember, this is a divine plan. And with respect... The Divine knows better than you do at this point. We would state quite categorically that the waiting is over. 
In these coming days you are to experience a new way of thought as to how your world is to be conducted. Do you know how blessed you are to be here at this time? Do you know how eager you were to be selected as one of the strongest of the strong? To be here to see this transition through. Imagine, in this moment, dearest souls, imagine the chains being released from your souls. Visualize that. A key releasing the padlock on your hearts and the shackles and chains falling away. A lightness coming upon you that you had not expected. Yet the world is about to turn upside down. A lightness. Indeed. Because the truth in all that it is, is to be unleashed. Yet from what I've heard, that is not exactly going to be a comedy. Yet the lightness shall be upon you and within you, because you will know that the darkness can be no more. I have to say it all sounds very promising. And I have to mention that the big country is about to have a big week. I assume you're meaning that it is all tied up with this. We are. The state of play in your world cannot ignore this, for this is very much to do with the battle between light and dark. Remember that, dearest ones. The winner is about to be announced. Yet you have said the light has already won. It has. Maybe this is the announcement. Again, it is very bold of you. Maybe the time is in play that we are able to be so bold. I have to say, as an onlooker and as a channeler, I try my best not to be influenced by what I've heard. That's why I prefer not to read other channelings, or very few. Yet, on the other hand, I'm human and have my own thoughts on the matters of which you speak. If you're choosing today to be so bold, then who am I to disagree? The state of play is literally at a tipping point. Our conversations with you from this point on shall be of the same quality, yet shall be different. Would you like to tell me in what way, or is it to be another cliffhanger? The nature of the topics shall be more forthright. All I can be is honest. And due to the events of the coming days in the big country, I'm finding today's communication a bit reserved on my part. You see, both parties follow your wisdom. One is going to be shocked, the other not. Yet they both follow your words and interpret them to suit their beliefs. Can you speak on that, please? Dearest Thoughtful Blossom, it is not for you to be concerned of this. Well, you have to admit, it is interesting. No more than any other topic of interest that is to come about in the following months. We say this. The light has won. There shall be no question or doubting when the truth is revealed. All that we have said is our truth. Many who feel they are awakened by following one party may find they had been misled. And as you say that, each party will be thinking it is the other. The truth shall be told, evidence offered, and the unraveling shall begin. Dearest souls, we offer you encouragement of the highest degree. All you need to do is hold your light. For those unsure of exactly how to do that, how would you explain that? Know you are divine light. Know the light has won the battle over darkness at last. Know you are light of the brightest eminence. Know it. How do you know it? By feeling it. How do you feel it? By closing your eyes, taking in some deep breaths, and repeating, I am the light. 
I am the love. I am the truth. I am. Know too that souls all over your planet are doing the same. You will be filled with a light that you know is home. You have waited so patiently and so devotedly. The wait is over, dearest ones. No, no matter what happens, you are one. When you say no matter what happens, there's talk by many of possible energy outages, internet down for time, etc. What's your take on that? We would offer comforting words to those who feel fearful of this, in that this is a divine plan in action. Therefore, being that it is divine, no matter what is taking place, there is nothing to fear. No stone has been left unturned, hence the patience required. All possibilities of outcomes have been considered, and the safety of your planet and the good souls that reside upon her have been accounted for. A divine plan cannot be faulted. So, hold on to your hats would be an understatement. No. We suggest you hold on, strap down, buckle up, in readiness for the off. All very exciting. Indeed, a big week ahead for our entire planet. I, for one, am ready, as indeed we all are. We know not exactly how this is to play out, yet our love will anchor firmly as we open our hearts to the unsuspecting and those who are going to feel like they've been hit on the head with a mallet. Our soothing balm is at hand. Well... How amazing to be here and be part of this. Any last words today? The heavens, the realms of light shine down upon you. Feel their light. You came here for this time, and now it is here. We love you. We are with you. We are one, light-loving energy. Okay, thank you. <sighs> See you on the other side. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. Um...